Oh, okay. It got it wrong. Uh, let's see if ChatGPT can actually do this. You probably have already seen the release of Code Llama and that it can beat GPT 3.5 on some of the benchmarks. In this video, we are going to perform some of our own tests and I'll also be doing a comparison with the results of GPT 3.5. During this video, I will be running some tests which will vary in complexity. For uh, Code Llama, we're going to be using the Perplexity Labs and we will also use uh, GPT 3.5 and compare their responses. In most of the cases, I will be executing the code to see how the results look like. Now, one thing to keep in mind, even though I'm doing comparisons, but these are not exhaustive tests. In order to see which model is the best, do your own tests, or you can go by the benchmark results. Now, now with that out of the way, let me quickly walk you through Perplexity Labs implementation of uh, Code Llama. So there are basically uh, four different models that are available. There's a Code Llama 34B instruct model, and then there are the original Llama 2 7B, 13B, and 70B. So we are going to be specifically focusing on the Code Llama 34B model. Now, most of my tests are going to be running in Python, but unfortunately, uh, we don't have access to Python in here. Okay, so we'll start with the very basic test, and uh, that is a simple calculator. So we are asking it to write a Python function. Uh, which call which is called calculator it will receive two values and an operation and the operation can be add subtract multiply and divide okay so this should be able to easily implement this all right so here is the implementation by looks of it it seems to be fine okay so i'm going to be using this simple google collab in order to run the code so let's run this code and let me pass two values so let's say uh four and we are going to uh multiply add them actually let's see what the results look like okay so that's good and then i ran the same prompt in chat gpt and it has absolutely no issues with it uh just by looking at the code i can say the implementation is correct so we're not going to test this okay so the second one is yet another textbook programming question so we want it to implement a fibonacci series uh let's see if it can implement that it should not have any issues whatsoever all right okay so the implementation looks perfectly fine it's using recursion but i'm gonna ask it to not use recursion okay so even without recursion it's able to implement it absolutely fine so this seems to be correct so just for the sake of testing i ran both of them uh with and without recursion so this is with recursion this is without recursion in both of the cases it seems to be uh giving us the correct answer so, okay so for the sake of completion here are the results based uh, on chat gpt uh, this is with recursion and here's without recursion and uh, based on my test it seems to be working um, correctly so i would give both of them a pass now these were great but in terms of the actual usability you're probably going to use it to help you out with small code segments so for example uh, here's a simple UI test case write a python uh, function so we provide the name of the function that removes duplicate items from a list while preserving the order okay so it came up with a pretty neat implementation so it's using the python sets uh, to make sure that there are no duplicate items and it's also using the list comprehension so this is pretty uh, awesome implementation and i actually really like the way it also puts a small explanation just like chat gpt so uh, this seems to be correct. Uh, we can also look at the uh, ChatGPT implementation. And again, uh, I would say it's also correct. Uh, the only thing is like instead of a list comprehension, uh, in this case, Python, uh, ChatGPT is actually using for loops. Now, here are the results when we executed both the codes. So this is the implementation from ChatGPT. And this one is from Code Llama. And both gives us the correct uh, responses when our input uh, list has duplicate items. Okay, now we're going to move to uh, some relatively complex questions. So let's start with a relatively simple one first, and that is write a, write a Python function uh, which is called validate password that checks if a password is at least eight characters long, has at least one uppercase, one lowercase, one digit, and one special character. And this is the actual code of generation when you're using perplexity labs, which is pretty awesome. Okay, 
So first is uh, doing the check. If the length is less than eight characters, then uh, it checks if there is uh, at least one upper character and lower character, then it is checking whether there's a digit or not. And here it's looking for special characters, right? So uh, the implementation seems to be correct, but let's test it out. Okay, so uh, here are the test results. I'm testing the code and uh, I provided this test password and then there's an exclamation mark at the end. It says uh, false because we're missing a number in here. So if I add, let's say one, uh, now it says true because it uh, uh, fulfills all the criteria that we have listed in here. Now let's look at the chat GPT implementation. And this one is actually pretty neat because it's using uh, the regular expressions. Uh, so that's, that's actually pretty awesome. Now, in terms of the tests, uh, it's doing exactly the same thing. So, for example, it's looking uh, uh, at uh, the characters. So, it could be upper and lower character. Uh, th this is basically lower characters, then searching for upper characters, then numbers, and then those special characters that we defined, right? Uh, so, both of them have similar implementation, but I actually like that ChatGPT is using the regular expressions. Okay, now this one is going to be a bit tricky uh, so we are asking it to write a python function uh, which we are calling roman to integer that converts a roman numeral to an integer value so let's see if uh, it's able to implement that okay so here's the implementation from code llama and we are going to be using a simple test so i'm providing this uh, roman numeral which is 1094 in integers let's see what the answer is oh okay it got it wrong uh, let's see if chat gpt can actually do this so here we provided exactly the same prompt and here's the response so i'm going to just copy the implementation of the function rather than the whole code oh interesting so uh chat gpt got this right so probably there is a, a small mistake in the logic uh, when it comes to code when it comes to code llama okay so now we're getting into some relatively complex questions now here's a question that was actually posted on the discord server uh, so i would actually recommend everybody to check out our discord server there are some really amazing people helping each other out you will learn a lot okay so the the prompt is or the question is given a string such as uh, this write a python function that rearranges the characters so that the matching letters are grouped together the output should be uh, a string like this. So let's say in this specific case, there are two E's, two T's, one C, R, two G's, and H. Okay, the solution should only use for loops, while loops, and if statements without relying on advanced built in functions. And I am asking it to write a Python function. Okay, so in terms of the logic uh, that it came up with, uh, the solution seems to be fine, but we are going to test it out. Okay, so here is the uh, code. And in order to test it, we're going to use the same string. However, before testing it, let's see what ChatGPT says about it. Okay, the problem uh, with ChatGPT's solution is that it's actually using the sorted functionality. And we specifically asked it not to use, use any built-in advanced functionality. So let me rerun this again and let's see. Uh, if ChatGPT is going to give me a different solution. Okay, so in this case, uh, it's definitely not using any of the advanced functionalities within Python. Uh, it's just using the while loop. So uh, at least it fulfills our requests or requirements. So let's copy this and test it. Well, um, both of them actually failed. So this is from uh, Code Llama. And for some reason, it actually dropped uh, some of the characters in the um, output string I, I guess like it simply took one string if there is a duplicate and that's why uh, we are seeing the output like this in terms of chat gpt's results again uh it's simply returning the same string again so it's not really doing anything so that means both of them are not able to solve this specific problem so it's a fail for both the models now keep in mind that if we run this again it might be able to solve the issue or if we um, tell it that there is something wrong with the solution because these are chat models but uh, for the sake of time 
I'm not gonna do this. For, uh, okay, so since it's a very interesting question, so I'm gonna ask GPT-4 to see if uh, GPT-4 can give us a proper solution. Okay, so here's the implementation from GPT-4 and I tested it and GPT-4 is definitely able to do this. Okay, so here the, here's the final test, right? Uh, right? HTML code for a web page that has a single button. When the button is pressed, it will change the background color of the website with a random color. And with the button press, we also uh, want it to show us a random joke. So I'm going to change this to code llama 34B. Let's run this. And we will run the same uh, command within uh, GPT 3.5. Okay, so it came up with the code. Let's have a quick look at it. Yeah, I think it missed the uh, joke bar. Okay, it's trying to uh, fetch the random joke from an API. So uh, I'm going to run this again. And let's see if it's still using the API. Then I'll have to explicitly ask it to uh, write jokes. Okay, so it actually wrote jokes in here. Let's see uh, if this code actually works. Okay, so for chat GPT, um, this, it has jokes in there. So I don't really see an issue. So we will test both of these codes and see if both of them give us correct um, HTML code. Okay, so we are going to paste um, the code here. Let's run this. Now we do see a click button. So let's click this and it does display a joke here. When I hit OK, uh, it actually changed the color, right? So not exactly what uh, I was looking for, but uh, it satisfies all the requirements. And this is probably the second open source large language model that has been able to implement this uh, specific task fully. Uh, I think the only one, other one was a Wizard or Kunia that I tested. Okay, next we're going to look at ChatGPT's implementation. So I'm going to copy this code and replace it. Let's run this. Okay, so it says change color. All right, awesome. This is pretty neat. Yeah. So this also works pretty, uh, pretty fine. Uh, the code is actually shown here uh, rather than a pop-up uh, and it does change the color. Okay, uh, so in terms of my assessment, uh, it does seem like this Code Llama 2 is a very capable model when it comes to code generation. We specifically focused on its ability to generate code. We did not test its ability to fix codes. Uh, I'm gonna test that out in another video. And as I said in the beginning, it's not really a comprehensive test between ChatGPT and Code Llama. Uh, I would recommend everybody to test this in your own applications. That will give you a better understanding of its abilities. If you like the video and content on this channel, there are a number of ways you can support my work, in, including Patreon. Check out the description of the video for more details. I hope you found this video useful. Consider liking the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.